I'm going to show you how to use this quarterly budget template available at your 2 Before starting, let me explain an important element of the budget, which is that you have a month's worth of income in savings. What I do is have my money deposited right into my savings account. Then, when a new month begins, I transfer all of the money budgeted, not all of the money available, but just the money budgeted, I move into my checking account. Then, during the month, I only spend the money from the checking account. So that being said, if you're currently living paycheck to paycheck, you may not have sufficient flexibility to allow for this method. But that's just one more reason to build up that cushion. So with that address, let's move on to the specifics of the template. You will first enter your, an your net annual income in the top left here. I'm going to use $45,000 because that's a fairly average income. And you'll see that your monthly income is automatically computed for you. Thirty-seven fifty. Next, you can see the categories, the expense categories that are available, and the line items that make up those categories. And you can add and modify these as needed to fit your situation. Now, this budget has, let me just move this over, has January, February, and March, because those are the three months that make up this first quarter. Each month has three columns, budgeted, spent, and left. The budgeted column contains the, the numbers regarding how much you will spend on that line item. You enter these numbers for all three months when you first plan and set up your budget at the beginning of the quarter. That way you can take into account the larger expenses such as uh, car registration or insurance that may occur in one month but not in others. Now the spent column is where you enter how much you have spent for that line item. It's best to enter this at least once a week but twice is generally better and updating these amounts more often makes it easier to keep track of where you are with your spending and to remember what you have spent your money on so the the column labeled left is the amount left after subtracting what has been spent from what was budgeted so let's enter a few numbers here just as an example so we have 375 and we'll say 50 goes here and 50 50 and 50 and 1200 and then we'll say that this one was only 20 so as we do that you see that the left column changes to reflect uh, what was what happened with the spent and if I spend more than was budgeted it's easy to see because the number changes to red as we see here and I know if I spend more I know that I have to spend less somewhere else to make up make up for that otherwise the budget won't balance. Now we just need some way to explain this extremely difficult concept of balanced budgets to our representatives in Washington. I, I know this is an extremely ex extremely difficult and abstract concept but I don't know maybe we can get them some tutoring or something but anyway I, I digress. So back to the topic at hand. You can see down here at the at the bottom that the total for each of these columns is displayed. And you may also notice that January has a different total amount budgeted than February and March. And that, in fact, January is less than our 3750, uh, the, the 3750 income available, and that Feb February and March are actually more. And that's because there are larger expenses in February and March but the average of the three months is still 3750 as reflected in this box up here in the top right which shows our monthly income the average of those three months and whether or not we're on which we are and so let's um, let's uh, display this a little bit um, so for example like right here if I change this number to 90 um, then that will be reflected up above that our budget where our budget average is higher than our monthly income and we need to make a change there so that's basically how this template works I highly recommend at least trying it out I think it makes life a lot easier much easier just keeping track of those three months rather than trying to keep track of all uh, upcoming expenses by saving for the full the full year at least that's my take on it. So uh, feel free to share your two bits and good luck with your budget.